guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing off my Disney ear collection. So I'm gonna be showing off both the Disney ears that I bought in the parks and the ones that I've made myself. Um, just kind of got one through. I've recently been enjoying making my own ears, um, and I just recently bought a lot of fabric, so I have a lot more coming. Um, so I do have a couple questions for you about ear making, um, but I'm gonna start off by showing you all the Disney ears that I have in my collection. If you guys enjoy Disney content, Disney videos, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn the bell, as I post tons of Disney content on this channel. And I do have Vlogmas coming up, which I'll be posting daily videos all the way up to Christmas um, of tons of Disney content and different Disney um, related videos. So I hope you guys enjoy um, and stay tuned for that. And let's get started with this video. First, I'm gonna go through and show you all the ears that I bought in the parks and then all the ears I have made. Um, and then I'll talk to you a little bit about ear making and different things along that line. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started. Okay, so I only have three pairs of ears that I've actually bought in the parks. The first one I bought were these ones, the Millennium Pink um, ears. I just really like the color scheme of them. Um, so I decided to get these ones. The next ones I bought were actually these. They were at the Disney outlet, so they're really cheap. So I thought they'd be cute for like a 4th of July themed. Um, so they were like four bucks. So I got these ones. And then the last ones I have are the class of 2019 graduation ones. I had to pick these ones up, wore them around the park a bunch, uh, just cause it was my graduation year and really enjoyed these ears. So those are really the only three ears that I bought in the parks. And then all the rest of the ears in my collection are ears that I have made myself. I haven't bought any ears on Etsy yet, um, just cause I thought if I make them myself, why do I need to buy them on Etsy? So I'm just gonna kind of go through some of the earlier ones I made and then just kind of how my ear making has almost improved over time. Um, so the first ones I made were these ones. I actually think these are one of my favorite pairs still. Um, some of the ones I made in between those and the ones I'm making now um, could use some work. But these ones are super awesome. Simple, just mini mouse like polka dot fabric with a white bow um, on a like white cream headband. I kind of wish it was on a f straight white headband, um, but super cute with a nice little rope around the side. Um, another pair of ears I made, I actually made these on a video. Um, were these ones. Uh, the headband itself on the inside could use some work. Um, that way of making headbands I don't really use anymore because I found an easier method um, that makes it look a little cleaner. But super awesome, just simple flower ears. These ones are frozen ears, so Anna and Elsa on that side and then um, Sisters Forever on this side. Again, the headband could use some work, um, the bow and the trim. So these ones, not my favorite, but super cute still. These ones are up themed ears, so the clouds with the balloon style. I have my Star Wars ears, so they have the Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing on the side. Um, and then we got a TIE Fighters on this side, kind of Star Wars themed fabric, light side and dark side. I'm um, just on a simple black headband. Um, some more of my earlier made ears were these ones. So when I first made ears, I made a ton at once. I made like all of, most of the ears you're gonna see to like, to up to a certain point, I made it all at once. And then I took a little break and now I'm back into making more. Um, so I made these ones. They were all before our cruise last June just because I wanted them for trips. Um, so ice cream themed ears, cruise line themed ears. So just anchor, font, um, anchor fabric with a nice simple white bow. And then we have pirate themed ears. So those are kind of all the ears I had made for a while. And then I took a little break and then I decided for Halloween this year, I'm going to make Halloween themed ears. So it's just on a black headband. Um, this very cool black and white, um, black and orange polka dot bow with a candy corn design with this rim. I really like the way these ones turned out. And then I dove into making more and more ears. So the next ones I made were these simple Toy Story ones. Um, so they have Buzz and Woody on them with a nice green bub and the simple headband. I kind of wish I covered this headband, um, but simple headband. Um, so super cute Toy Story ears. And then I started making the three. I'm actually gonna take the ones that are on my head off. Um, these three designs, and I really like the way these are turned out and definitely the designs I'm gonna style like I'm going to continue working with. So this first pair are kind of um, Paris themed. I went to Joann's this weekend and found some awesome Disney pa um, Disney different different Disney fabrics. So this one was like a Paris themed fabric so I thought that was cute. Um, I really just like the pink color that it was um, that it had. So it had Mickey and Minnie talking in different French phrases with a red bow. Um, these this little like 
polka dot pom-pom border i really like that and then i figured out a much cleaner way to cover the headband so this was a white headband but i did cover it in fabric just so it fits a little snugger on the head um and it's not as painful on your head so i really like the way these came out another pair i made with this one so i did cover the black um, headband with black fabric um and then i added a red bow this Mickey different expressions fabric with a yellow pom-pom trim. I really like the way this one was. And then these ones are my Christmas themed ears. So we have Mickey and Minnie kissing on this side with a red bow. And then we have Mickey and Minnie separate on this side um, with this nice white pom-pom. I feel like it almost looks like snow on this. And then I decided to cover these ears in the same fabric um, for the headband with like a white, just a white trim on the inside of that. So those three ears that I made recently are definitely the style I'm going to continue going with. I'm actually going to put the um, these ones back on my head. I just really like the way these ones look. Um, I still like the way these ones look too, but I just think it looks a lot cleaner to have the headband covered. So I think that's really like the big thing that I've been changing. Um, so what I want to say to you guys, would you be interested in purchasing some of these ears? Um, I've definitely, I'm in a lot of different groups and looking at different swaps for the ears. So I'm doing those, but I was wondering if any of you would be interested in purchasing those ears. I know not everybody's creative. Um, so I have lots of different Disney fabrics. I'm planning on making Marvel themed ones, Star Wars, different characters. So I'd be open if you were like looking for a certain character, um, doing something along that lines. I haven't figured out like a price range, um, but I wanted to know in the comments down below if you were interested in purchasing ears, um, if you like the way these are designed, um, if there's a certain design here that you really liked and would be interested in purchasing, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your feedback on those. And let me know, do you make your own ears? Um, do you wish you could make your own ears? Um, I do have a video showing you how to make your own ears. It doesn't show the headband part, um, but it does show you the basics on how to make your own ears if you're interested in that. So I'll link that up in the iCard. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this collection. Um, it is ever growing. I am constantly making ears right now um, as for different things and just to add to my collection slash um, for different trips. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget Vlogmas is coming up, so I'm going to have tons of Disney content on this channel. If you guys enjoyed, definitely hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!